Hello there. Happy Friday night. How you doing? Um, see, I'm reading comments because this is live. If you're watching this now, hello, welcome. If you're watching after the fact, you will realize that um, I do these live. So I'm talking with people. So I want to make sure. Hello, I see comments. Hi, Irene. How are you? Yeah. Buckle down. Fruit fly. Fruit fly. Don't bother me. Um, there, because there's a hurricane barreling right towards the east. So be safe. Get your uh, storm chips and all those things that you guys do and buckle down and make sure you are safe. Um, <clears throat> how you guys doing? Hello, Christine and Yvonne and Kathleen and Natalie and Jenny and Kari. How are you guys? I uh, am, have lots of drinks here so I don't start coughing while I'm talking to you guys. Um, very exciting. I did a class with scrapbook.com last weekend. Uh, there were a whole bunch of us participating in an event called SBC Fest, and it was fabulous. I loved it, and thank you for all you guys that showed up and supported me there. Uh, you're awesome, but it was, a, it was a lot of fun. It was pre-recorded, so for me, as a teacher of the crafting arts, um, I wonder where, what would I be in if I was in Harry Potter world? Would I be like a Hufflepuff or what would I be? I don't know. But in the world of paper crafting, um, normally I'm teaching the class. So I don't get to watch myself do the things. So with it being pre-recorded, it was lots of fun because I got to sit and watch it with everybody and then comment and chat. So uh, it, that was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed that. So if you haven't watched that yet, it's pre-recorded. It's recorded. It's there for all time. I know that my little kit that you can get to do the class, you want those butterfly dies. You want those dies and the stencils are awesome. Uh, is I think out of stock, but it's coming back in stock and foundations paper has been restocked. I have it in the description of the video, but um, the things you need the things, right? But it, that was a lot of fun. Uh, but I wasn't feeling very good on Saturday while I was watching it. No biggie. Mailed a whole bunch of packages, did things, and then went, nah, I have to go to bed. It was like, I don't know, 6 o'clock. I'm going to go lay in my bed. And then I didn't get out of it for two days. So uh, that was fun. And um, definitely feeling better, but not 100%, but severe sinus infection. So lots of fun, right? <laughs> lots of fun. But... I'm not surprised. I've been going pretty hard and fast for a while. So uh, when the kids um, bring um, their cooties in the house, I am right there ready for them. Like, come on, <laughs> get me sick. I'm ready. So lots of fun. So Julie is saying print shop. I got the rest of your print shop is arrived. Yes, it's beautiful. Guess what? I got a whole bunch of print shop. And one of the things I'm going to share with you, because you know, when we did the print shop walkthrough, there was something I didn't have yet. Are you ready? The vellum. So I will show this uh, with the overhead camera. But I have the vellum. It's beautiful. So if you were like, I don't know if I'm going to like that or not. It's very pretty. It's very pretty. Here's another thing I'm going to tell you already. Lots of print shop is sold out. I knew this was going to happen. I, I just, I had a... You get a feeling, and I knew that I love Evergreen and Holly, but Christmas isn't for everybody, right? I knew with Print Shop coming out, I'm like, this one's gonna, this one's gonna hit it out of the park, and things that are sold out at American Crafts already: six by eight paper pad, twelve by twelve paper pad, and two or three of the papers that I know of. Those things that I know of. So, just telling you that weekend, I have kits. I haven't shared anything because the stuff, literally half of it, there's so, you know, it's a lot of work, uh, but half of it arrived on um, Thursday. The other half is coming on Monday. We, while um, I'm away, I have my lovely assistant, Jenna, is going to be kidding. So uh, it's coming, friends. And I'm telling you, I knew it. I knew that this one is not going to last. So just be ready for it. And then for Nicole and all of my friends, when I get back, I'll be packing big boxes for you guys. So, uh, but I was going to try to do that before I left. And then of course they only delivered half of it. So I don't have my ephemera yet or the washi tape or 
a lot of the things. So, so fun. Hello, Mike from um, Windy, Nova Scotia. Yeah, you guys be careful. That's some scary stuff, that weather coming towards you. So be careful. Uh, take care of yourselves. But um, yeah, it's in stock, Julie. It's just I don't get my stock as quickly as everybody else because the orders that I put in and then it has to get to Buffalo and then get from Buffalo to my house in Canada. So it's coming. But most of your LL, LSSs, your local scrapbooking stores will have it. Make sure you're supporting them. It's a good one, but it won't last. And this is one that I feel like we'll be using for a while. So it's going to be a good one. So tonight, tonight's um, little, little, little live is uh, going to be something like I was looking at the background. So last week we created, it was supposed to be a rainbow watercolor, but look at it. Went with a fall vibe. So here's, you're going to see funny how these things kind of work out, but we did this last week and I thought, okay, are we going to do full background? And then I went now for the haters out there and not the haters in the sense that they hate mixed media, but in the sense, the people who are like, I'm not sure if this is for me, we're going to take this and apply it to a super, super clean layout. I'm not using any pattern paper tonight. I'm literally going to use um, some nested heart dies cut a whole bunch of hearts out of this and I'm going to make a card and a layout with a photo, my painted background, a white cardstock background and some alpha stickers. It will be the simplest uh, background and then um, maybe I'll need a sentiment for the card. But I thought, wouldn't that be fun if we do it like something really super simple? from something that was kind of layered and a lot of fun last week. So, um, and then for as long as my voice will last, I thought let's do something that I didn't cancel tonight. Cause I said I was on the fence because right. I'm not feeling a hundred percent, but I went, well, if I do this idea have in my head, it shouldn't take too long. So it'll be good. Um, let me see what we're talking about. What have I missed anything? Yeah. It's cold here today. Um, is that print shop she's talking about? Yes, print shop. <gasps> that kit is going to blow your mind. I'm just telling you that is going to that class is going to have you something to look forward to. It will give you like a month to come down from the holidays. And then we're going to have that weekend respite retreat awesomeness in that class. So it's going to be good. Christmas, this one, Christmas is coming. The goose is getting fat. I have worked on part of this one. I still have kits. I will do a walkthrough. Um, it's going to be a good one. Like these, it's going to be huge. So vickybooten.com for those, if you guys are still on the fence with that, I will do more about that. Talk about that when I get back from the cruise, because there's a bunch of us floating on a big boat. It's going to be so awesome. And uh, when I get back, I'm going to do a whole bunch of Tim Holtz yumminess. So we're going to use the watercolor pencils. I ordered a couple that I'll add to my shop when I get back, um, but not a lot, but just a couple. So if you guys have an order going in anyway for foundations or something, you can grab those. Or um, if you have them already or you've ordered them for from your favorite scrapbook store, make sure you get that stuff in. When I come back, I'm going to do... Uh, the next Friday when I'm back from uh, the cruise, I'm going to do a couple weeks of Tim Holtz and Ranger yumminess. So be ready for that. I think it'll be fun. Um, your pencils came today. Yep, I'm going to do a whole bunch of stuff. It's going to be good. Um, any questions before I get started? Let me know. I know everybody's like it's still 100 in Texas, which is where I'm flying to on Sunday. But uh, it is crazy. It got cold here. Like Rich wouldn't even go golf, right? So uh, if you're playing tonight, that's great. Grab your stuff. I'm going to flip cameras. If you're just watching, this will give you something to uh, work on while I'm away. Uh, but thanks for joining me tonight. And uh, if you have any questions, you can still ask. But I'm going to flip the camera. Don't need to look at me anymore. Let's do some fun things. Black Foundations paper going to be available soon. No, Suzanne. It is. Um, it took a lot of work for us to find one that worked well. It is coming, but it won't come out now until my next release, which is all done. 
It's all done. It's in the books. It will be coming out in the new year and the foundation's paper will come out with that. American Crafts doesn't like to, because it would take a while now to get here, uh, to just release like a random Vicki Booten item. They like to release it with a collection. So uh, the Black Foundation's paper did not hit the cutoff date. So it's coming. It's just not going to come with this release, right? Uh, the Foundation's paper is, it's, I think if you check now, Denise, uh, my friend Cody at scrapbook.com told me that it's back in stock and there's tons of it, but it won't last long. So make sure you click on my share sale links, which I shared in the video in here, in the description and go and check that out. I almost fell over. Um, but, and when you order it, get one or two pads because uh, it's awesome stuff. Okay, flipping the camera, let's do the things. There we go. I even printed a photo, can you even believe it? Um, do we have any questions? Did I miss anything? Is it anybody's birthday? Um, uh, how are you doing, Irene? I know Irene was having a rough time this week. I hope that turned around for you, my sweet friend. I'm putting the laptop flat, so that's why there's crap everywhere, right, friends? Because my uh, if you looked at my studio space right now, my workspace, you'd be like, oh, my goodness, what happened there? I'm like, a bomb did not go off. It is just a mess. It's just a mess because I've been actively working. And because I'm working, I don't have time to clean up the next step. Do you know what I'm saying? You know mm. what I'm saying? What happened with Sandy? Yeah, be safe in the hurricane for you guys that are in the path of that. And um, I'm sorry, whatever happened, Sandy, I missed it. Um, but it looks like uh, you've had a loss. So big hugs, my friend. That's super tough. Right, got some print shop merch at Frank Garcia Studio. Love that, love Frank. Vicky, you're really our blessing at the end of a long week. Thank you, you guys too, right? Um, I know my voice is not gonna last long, so we'll see how this is going. I find <laughs> everyone around this house has got a little bit, bit of a break because if I don't talk, I'm fine. When I start to talk, my voice totally goes away. Yes, Kristen's going to be on. Uh, who? What other cruisers are here? Kristen's going to be on the cruise with me in a week. I am leaving from uh, Texas with a group of 50 crafters. We are going to be going on Liberty of the Seas, which is one of my favorite ships with um, Royal Caribbean. We are going to Jamaica and to Cozumel, Mexico, and to the one I always forget the name of, and I knew, Deborah. She's going to be cruising with me. I love it. Kari is going to be cruising. We're going to have a great time. So we've been waiting for this for a year, so very excited that it's finally here. So one of the things I want to share with you, my friends, when we did the walkthrough for Print Shop, I did not have the vellum, right? And guess what? I just opened up like literally before I came on here. So now I hope that you guys will see this. This is pretty much print shop all wrapped up in a pretty little bow. This really encompasses um, this collection. I totally love it. So these were designed so you can cut them out. They can be punched out and layered and, and we're gonna do some magical things with these. But uh, Melissa's gonna be on the cruise too, look it. I actually looked today for, what was that? Uh, for a non-crafting spot on the ship, but the flights from here were mucho expensivo, expensivo. I think you should still come, Nicole. I think that you deserve mucho expensivo. Um, wouldn't that not be awesome? Rich and I would take care of you. I would love that so much. Just let's lay by the pool. Uh, when we're not crafting, you could come hang out with us and craft too. I love it. But, um, yeah, isn't this pretty? So I wanted to share that with you because I only had a print off and now you guys can see that is the vellum for the, um, print shop. It's very pretty. Don't you think? Yeah, that would be super fun. Oh, it's going to be so much fun. Yeah, we're going to have fun. I can use a roomie. There you go, Kristen. 
look at that. You could have the split, the, the cost of the room, right? It'd be awesome. So last week, were you here? Did you join us for this uh, pretty background that was the initially was going to be like a rainbow background, but then I went with like kind of a, a earthy, a earthy um, kind of vibe, right? So totally loving that. And then I went, okay, are we going to do a background in here? Do you want funny? <laughs> this is what I was saying. Like maybe in the back of my head, I, I plan for things that I'm not even aware of. But when I went with Kari, I wore this outfit and look at my uh, little jacket matches this background perfectly. So I'm going to scrap tonight a picture of myself. So there's one challenge for you tonight. Print a photo of yourself off the phone or off your camera and put yourself in the layout tonight. It'd be a lot of fun because we forget to do that, right? And it's gonna go really nicely on this background. The other thing that I grabbed first is this set of dies that I have that are, sorry, <coughs> that are um, nested hearts. And then I have this set from scrapbook.com. So I'm going to go through and I am going to punch out hearts. And my idea for this is the layout is going to just be on a white background. And I am going to have my photo with a title and I'm just going to float hearts all the way up the background. I'm not going to do anything else on this. And then I'm going to make a card with the exact same design because we're going to contain the funk in a bunch of pretty little hearts and then I'm just going to let them float up the page. And then I don't uh, have to have uh, mixed media that freaks people out by containing it in a shape and putting it on a simple background. Uh, we can make like a really awesome, simple, contained funk mixed media background. So I'm going to do that with hearts. So I'm going to grab, I grabbed tonight because you know I pull a different die cut machine out. You could cut these out. You could go to Just Next Studio and you could get uh, some awesome cut files there and you could do this on your silhouette or on your um, Cricut or Brother Scan and Cut or you could punch them out or guess what? It's a heart. You could go right now online, download a heart shape, use it as a template or just cut them out and you could do hand cut hearts as well. Um, yes, this was last week's video. So any background you've made with me before could totally work tonight. Totally could work tonight, right? Um, so whatever you have, grab. And you could use punches, you could hand cut, you could stamp, you can use dies. I'm going to use the nested dies because I think that it will be fun just to do a bunch of hearts right up the side of the page. And then from the hearts, I can do the same thing, just scaling it down on a card. So it'll be fun. Uh, feel better. I see that you're not feeling well as well, Mel. Not fun at all. Uh, can I tell you something? So my friend Damas Glove was online and doing a video. And uh, because, you know, this is what happens. And I'm sure I do it with you guys all the time. But I love tape dispensers. And now this one's going back. And I'm making them send me another one because I think somebody had it. See all the scratches on the top? Can you guys see that? I'm like, this looks like it was open already, but it is a freaking tape dispenser that is a record player. So it's taped on the sides, but I ordered this for myself because who doesn't need a tape dispenser that is a record player? So I had to share that because it's sitting on my desk. So uh, I ordered it, but I feel like somebody opened it because it's all scratched up. What the heck with my scratched up tape player? But I'm going to order a second one. How cute is that, right? I love it. So uh, you'll be seeing me pull out my scotch tape from my old turntable. <laughs> Crazy lady, right? So tonight I am pulling out the big dog die cut machine. So we are going to use, I have my Gemini. This thing weighs a ton. And just so you know, I'll show you that I'm not a pro with all of the things. My plates are really warped, but we're still going to just go with it, right? I find stuff, and then if somebody shares something online and I love it, 
um, I will go and, and search it. But I love because I have friends out there or people that craft that I follow or for whatever, whatever I follow them for. And the one thing I will laugh at is when they share clothing and I go and search the clothing and I'm like, OK, yes, <laughs> I love that shirt. And now I know why, because it's three hundred and fifty US dollars. And then I go and I am not going to buy that. I am going to practice restraint and I am not going to spend $300 um, on a shirt, but I totally will buy a uh, $15 tape dispenser. That I, That's not too rich for my blood. Ah, love it. So yes, my Gemini. So uh, where did I put the plates though, Vicki? Here they are. So I've decided to go with the Gemini because I can cut, right, bigger pieces. The one thing I will tell you, now look at, I have to heat these and do, because this is one of these things with, uh, there's so much pressure in these um, electronic die cutting machines that mine are, are warped like crazy, right? But the one thing I will tell you, if you do not own magic mats from scrapbook.com, you need to grab them for all of your die cutting machines. This really makes everything cut like butter. You'll see, I was cutting out my, um, these Tim Holtz Christmas dies and they would not cut on anything else, but they would cut with my magic mat and on my Gemini. So I do love it, right? What are we talking? Where's a tape dispenser from Michelle? I found it on Amazon. I just searched Amazon, but it's scotch. So if you just search scotch, but if you know people who love to play uh, vinyl, I think this is a great stocking stuffer or whatever, right? But mine is all scratched up. Is it, it's not magnetic, Helene. It just makes your dyes cut like butter. So, and they're very inexpensive on scrapbook.com. I don't know if they still have free shipping, but uh, I have them in every single size. And I buy multiples of them because I'm also crazy. And once they get kind of dirty and stuff, I will replace it. But I do think that this is magic. It literally is. A, this, these mats are magic. It just makes die cutting so much easier, right? Do you love your magic mat? I even bought an extra to cut it apart to fit in your sidekick. How smart is that, Mitzi? Yeah, I'm telling you. I love this. I just typed in record player tape dispenser on Amazon. Vicky, do you see what I do? Right? Crazy Vicky um, is like enabler, but I have that one. I have a, a high heel shoe. Look at this. You, you'll laugh, but Vicky likes tape dispensers. Here's a camera one, right? Camera, it has washi tape in it. Here's a rainbow. Uh, that's not a rainbow. This is called the cloud, Vicky. I have a cloud. I have a high heeled shoe. I have um, like stuff. I like weird stuff. Look at you'll laugh. I love this. My post it notes that come out of the camera. I love it. Two minutes and they'll be sold out. It just here's what I have to say, though. You guys know I only share the things I absolutely love. If it, there was a list of like top 10 things for die cutting, this would be like a probably number one on my, if you're going to use a die cutting machine, the magic mat, love it. Right. So anyway, I digress like always. It's God only knows what you're going to get when you come and hang out. So I'm going to cut this paper and we're going to cut out a whole bunch. You're just going to, that's what I, I saved it because I wanted to show you what the base looked like. So guess what? Maybe you didn't do this last week with me, but I feel confident that you've probably done some kind of mixed media background with me in the past. Grab it. It doesn't have to be this one. Question. Are we cutting out the hearts on plain white? No, I'm cutting it out of here. Pamela, I'm going to cut it out of here for contained funk. So I am going to use my stuff. Oh, and then look it. And then I just grab like thickers and then I'm going to decide. Can I, this is something I'm really sad about. <laughs> let, let me share the thing that I'm sad about. We American crafts used to make like so many letter stickers. They don't anymore. 
And now I find my stash of letter stickers has dwindled dramatically. Like I need them. I, I just want everybody start scrapbooking again. Okay. Everyone start scrapbooking again so that, um, they make lots of stuff for me to use. <laughs> That's my request. Everyone starts scrapbooking again. So, uh, all the companies start making lots of things, uh, that we can use. <clears throat> and thank you. Antonia is saying to use my, uh, share sale links. If you're going to shop on uh, scrapbook.com, a cherry on top, Simon says stamps. If you just click my link, it costs you nothing. But if my suggestion sent you there, it's super helpful if you use that link and then they know one that, Hey, Vicki was talking about us today and look at all these awesome people are coming and buying lots of fun things. And then, um, it helps me with these Friday night lives, right? I don't have a share sale for Amazon yet, Vicki, cause I set it up all wrong. I didn't do it correctly. And Leah laughed at me. She's like, ding dong. It's not going to work because you didn't set it up right. And I'm like, look, I need a handler. We all know that Vicky, for the most part, is just getting by day, getting along day by day, right? Getting along. You never stopped. Me either, Deb. Me either. But we need to get the peoples back. And here's another thing. Can we talk while, while we're doing stuff tonight? And can you guys, if you're out there, the 300 of you that are watching, um, let's talk about things. And here's one of the things. So you may join in with me on a uh, Friday night just because you like the company and I'm crazy and you're just entertained. Uh, you may craft. You may be a card maker. You may be a scrapbooker. You may be uh, a jack of all trades crafter. I would like to understand this. Riddle me this, my friends. So um, I'm going to be doing uh, th this. Want to peek? This, if you're doing uh, the card class with uh, scrapbooking cards, uh, the delivered, sorry, brain's not working. And I had a whole bunch of people that are like, um, I don't like mini books, like mini books aren't my thing. So tell me why I want to know why don't you like to make a mini book? Cause for me, a mini album, especially a mini album that's in an album, not like maybe like a little handmade tag book or whatever, because I get that maybe that's not for everybody. But I don't understand why people poo-poo a mini album. And probably I don't understand it because it's my favorite thing to make. So talk to me. Let's have a conversation tonight about two things. Um, why you don't hear. Why cards aren't your favorite thing to make? Or, or why, why are there limitations on your creativity? Explain that to me. I would like to know that. I would like you to riddle me that. Answer me that question. Why... I want to understand why people um, don't like to make all of the things. Like, why only a double page layout? Why can't you make a single? Many albums take too much storing space. But explain that to me, Shauna Lee. Because doesn't a 12 by 12 album take up just as much storage space? And how many stories do you tell on one layout? Do you know what I mean? I just, I just, I like the way larger albums fit on my shelf. OCD maybe. See, I'm going to go through and read all of these because can I tell you why I love a mini book? So we're talking about those things and I'll say, tell you why I love a mini album. I love a min mini album because it is a project. I literally can see a start and a finish. I love a mini album because I think feel like shrinking the size down a little bit into like a more controllable space is my product stretch further. And I also can tell so many little stories throughout the whole album. You know what I mean? Like, I guess, cause there'd be the question, Vicki, why do you love mini albums? Yes, I can finish start to finish that I'm a lover of product. So I love that I can um, put tons of stuff in it. I love that I can tell lots of different stories. Do you know what I'm saying? I just always, I guess, oh, printing small pictures is a pain. What kind, how do you print, Lisa? That's a great, because I want to know, how do you print your photos? Do you still go and get them done at like Walmart or a photo place? I have no limitations. I will give it a go. 
there is a, I just, I guess I'll have to read through. I'm going to read through all of your comments later because I'm very curious. Cause if you notice, I do product collections, right? Uh, you notice that I do a lot of mini albums. And my reason being is that uh, I love them. <laughs> so if you hang out with me and you're my friend, you will also know, um, and anybody who's out here who hangs with me will tell you, Vicky really loves when you love what she loves. It's, it's a true fact. Like if we go out and... Um, I want you to try something I you will find I really love when you love what I love I am a little crazy like that so when you say you don't like something um I want to know why why don't you like what I like hello Victoria Kelvin you love it all me too right it's so it's easy for me I love and I put no limitations on my creativity I will do all of the things Yes, she does love what she loves. It's it's true, right, Nicole? And you know, if you hang out with me, I want you to try the things that I love. Like I, I like when people like what I like. It, it, true facts, right? I'm going to see now because it's all warpy. I think I'm going to have to tape. Which is how Ray Dunn became a small addiction, thanks to her, yes, and shopping, yeah. Uh, I do like your take on it, Vicki. I need to think about telling the story of an event in a mini album. So here, can I ask you a question? So if you have been like where it's like, I have not done one of your mini album classes uh, because I'm not sure how I would use it or um, I don't know if it's my jam. If I did a series of, like, say with my Christmas album, if after we make it, I show how I'm adding photos, journaling, telling my story throughout the month of December, would that be super helpful? Do you think it would be helpful if I shared then how I use said mini album? I want to know if that would be like a helpful thing is that um, some people are just very, uh, it's gonna be loud for a minute, okay? But we're gonna, we gotta do the things now. Um, are very um, practical, so they need to see how the stuff comes together. Do you think that'd be helpful? Because I, like I said, I, you, I like you guys to do what I do. <laughs> I really like when you guys, what is my sandwich? This is my sandwich. It is two of the Gemini plates and the uh, magic mat. And like I said, just like butter, just they release beautifully. So I'm just gonna be cutting hearts out now. I, I have to do this and I didn't wanna do it ahead of time because I wanted you guys to see what I was cutting it from. I just want to, I need to understand because it's, I am of the um, mindset or of the thought that uh, I like to do it and you need to do it with me. And, and all of my friends out there will tell you, she is a little on the pain in the butt side where she will make you do the things. I will 100% make you do all the things because I love doing the things. So we're just going to keep cutting out the hearts. I hope you guys are doing this with me. Hearts, butterflies, stars. I don't care what you cut out. Do whatever you want. But I want you to do this with me. Because remember, Vicky likes you to do what I, I do. Uh, but Vicky, life is more fun with variety. I'm not a fan of small albums. But if you love, I just want to know why, though. Okay? So you got to tell me, Jolene. It, and it's not that one's right or wrong. I just want to understand the why. Because then I, <laughs> you know, I'm asking you why so I can convince you to, to do what I like. That's probably, you know, you're probably scared. I don't want to tell her why because she's not going to leave me alone with it. Yeah, probably not. I probably won't. Less real estate to, yes, Donna, that's how I feel. And like I said, um, I can see a start and a finish. 
and then I can put them all in. I love that people can come over. They can grab the mini albums. They can look. I thought my fingernail was coming off. Somebody said they didn't like my nails too. Somebody said they wanted my old nails back. What were my old nails? Why don't you like these? Somebody did put a message out there to me and said, I want your, I don't like your nails. I want your old nails back. And I don't know if that meant just like nothing on my nails or I was like, what's wrong with my nails, man? What's going on? So let's just keep cutting out these things. I have minty tape. I should grab some of that to another scrapbook.com exclusive. Uh, my nails. So I do, I'm doing the dip, right? When you dip, we dip. When I dip, you dip, we dip. So uh, I have butter, soft, paper, thin nails. They're terrible, right? So um, I, I think this is what I can use this for, right? Started going and getting them dipped because now, um, and the French is a perfect thing because they just dip it in the white and and then just put the clear coating on it and i am enjoying them but somebody said i don't like i don't like your nails I, or didn't say i don't like your nails but they said they liked my old nails better and i was like which ones the colored ones or the rainbow ones i don't know people are funny yeah it's all good right dips are the only reason my nails are strong and long and what they told me Catherine is my nail lady is um she said you should try this i do this for uh the ladies who are having chemo and cancer treatments and they're having issues with their nails and it makes them super strong and i'm like well let's give it a try right let's give it a try i'm gonna put that on there let's see i think i'll be able to peel it off a little easier well, um, I don't, there was a reason I did the French. I think it was something I was filming or whatever. They're particular about what you have on your nails, right? So, okay, here we go. Vicky, you got to stop just the talking and do, I got to do the doing, right? Sheila saying, what did Sheila say? Sorry. Mini albums are great, but I never finished them as far as adding photos and journaling. Well, I think that's what we need to change, Sheila, right? That's what we need to change. I am totally my Christmas one. So if you're doing the Christmas class with me with Evergreen and Holly, it's not just going to be that class. We're going to do a whole bunch with that. So I am going to um, ah, keep doing that, ripping it off the die, dum dum. Uh, I am going to do photo prompts. We are going to, um, I'm going to print photos like with my photo challenges that will go with the album. I think it's going to be a lot of fun to clean that up later because I don't have the patience to do that right now. Let's pop it out. Pop it out. Nothing is easy, right? So this is going to take a little while. This is what I'm doing. Just sit here and, and die, cutting the dies, the shapes. But look at already. There's like a little pile of happy right there. You're not a scrapbooker. Started many, finished none. So many books would probably be uh, the same outcome. I'm a card maker, feel accomplished, giving my art to recipients. I love that, Angie. But, you know, here's my thing. I really feel like... If a card maker is going to scrapbook, I think a mini book is right up your alley because a lot of the stuff that you're using, because the scale of it is perfect for pocket pages and uh, doing a mini book. So I just feel like I'm, I'm going to get some of you guys to start doing it with me. I just feel like we're going to make that happen. We're going to make it happen. I want to get some card makers. I want to get people who do altered art all of the things to come and scrapbook with me. And I think a mini book would be a great place to start, right? I just do. So, you know, remember, bossy, make you do the things. That's what I'm going to be doing, making you do that. So that's why the weekend events too, right? It's just easy. Everything you need 
in a kit and then uh, three days of education. It's my favorite thing to do and I don't want to ever have to stop doing it. So I just got to get people who want to do it with me, right? I need a list lesson on how to print photos, resize them, mirror image them, and I do more. Well, I need to repackage my photo class using your iPhone. And then what I need to do, my friends, is put an addition on it that is very focused on uh, editing and printing your, your photos. Do you think, I think that would be, it. everyone who did that class with me loved it. Even the, my kids, like my kids, my daughter's boyfriend was like, I need to take this uh, photo class because I have my iPhone. I never print any photos off of it. And I'm like, yes, you do. I think that the iPhone photography class that I did would be is good for anyone who takes photos with their phone. Right. So I need to uh, that'll be one of those things I need to work on it. Best class ever. And you adapted it to your Samsung, which I tried to do that. Right. Because a lot of it was theory and then just finding where the stuff is on everyone's individual phone. So I think that's I need to bring that class back out. And then put an addition onto it or a part de, where we can go then and get more creative with our photography. Right. So, yeah, I think that I need to do that and then do like a whole section of it that is just the um, editing and printing. And I'll tell you, I'm going to say it again because it's what I pulled out tonight. The photo printer that you guys need if you scrapbook. Like I truly 100% believe this is the Epson Picture Mate 400. Epson Picture Mate 400. I know it's harder to find, but it is hands down the best for um, paper crafting, printing off your phone, ease of use. Uh, it is. I love that freaking thing, and you guys know it, right? How often have I talked about it? Epson Picture Mate 400. And Christmas is coming soon. You're going to find, I find that it is more readily available when the holiday season is here. You need that. Like how many people here have bought that printer because I've talked about it for years and maybe you bought it and you're like, okay, I'm going to see, I don't know if I believe her. And then you got it and you're like, I freaking love this printer. I love it. I love it. I love it. You get about, I would say, about 100 photos per ink, I would say, right? I think, what is an, an ink uh, refill cost? I, I just, I'm telling you, friends. Oops, I don't know how that got in there. I didn't mean to put that there. Or did I? No. Okay. Sorry, this takes a little while. I love well and here's the other reason why Vicky loves mini albums is I love interactive elements I love flips flaps pockets and uh, by putting it in a mini book we have pocket pages in there so you can just slide photos right into the pocket page but then you can also do all, woo -wee, all the other fun stuff so 32 us right so divide that let's say just to be safe that it's 75 prints, but I know that there are more. Here's the other thing too, is I love the ease of use, right? That I don't have to wait for somebody else to print them. I edit my photos with a couple different apps and I print them right off of that baby. And yes, it is only going to print um, on a uh, four by six or five by seven, but I can use my print to size app or you can use the Epson app or some people like the Project Life app. And I can then put my three by fours, three by threes, two by twos. And let me tell you friends who only scrapbook four by sixes. That is one of those things if I could get you in a room and you'd be scared because you'd be locked in the room with Vicky and Vicky wah, would make you print photos smaller than that because I'll tell you why. Here's my thought on that. Not every 
photograph deserves to be a four by six or a five by seven. Not everyone does. Some are, um, every photo, some are the main lead character who deserve center stage. And then some are supporting cast and some are extras. Do you know what I'm talking about? But all of them deserve to have a place on your memory keeping and scrapbooking uh, pages. So by scrapbooking in smaller sizes, and I know some of you are out there going, no, Vicki, no, 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 no. You're not gonna change me is uh, you need to print the smaller sizes so that, you know, Aunt Beth's foot that your husband took a picture of because look at her sock. She's got chihuahuas on her sock. It's hilarious. Does that need to be a four by six photo? No. Aunt Beth's, I think that's what Aunt Beth's was her name was Aunt Beth. Her socks are cute, but the picture of all of us sitting in lawn chairs laughing about Aunt Beth's socks while she's hugging her chihuahua, that's the four by six. The Chihuahua close-up sock is a three by four, right? It's a three by four. I would love to have a lot of you guys locked in a room with me because you'd come out making a mini album, even though you didn't want to. You might come out crying, <laughs> but I'd be happy. Since you introduced me to the print to size app, I have drastically changed the size photos I use in pages. I love that app and I love that, Donna. I love it. Scale, 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 right? Like it is. It's just, you know, the socks need to come to the party, but the socks should not be taking center stage, right? You do almost four by six always. Yeah. Oh my goodness, Shana Lee. The things we could do together. It would be crazy. There's nothing wrong with them. But like I'm saying, a whole page full of four by six, uh, that's here. And this leads right down to, so Vicky, why do I love a mini album? Because I love to tell story in all sizes of photos. There's no crying in scrapbooking. Well, hopefully not, right? I print all sizes. You love your printer as well. Great advice. I love that. You do a lot of three by fours. Me too. I'll fly to Canada if you teach me how to resize. You don't even need to fly to Canada, Paula. We will do, I have to do class about that. I really do think. So hands up. Tell me out there who would find a class where I teach you how to edit photos and resize and use my favorite printing tools, printing paper, uh, little photography tips. Who would find that if we did like a Saturday afternoon, it would be recorded. But if I taught a class like that in like a kind of two hour format where it's just a mini class. So would you guys love that? Because I'll do it. I'll add that to my list because we could do that before we go into both my mini album classes. Because then I feel like if I print and I show them in my mini album that you guys would love that. Yep, for Traveler's Notebooks, I'm doing it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. So while I'm flying this weekend, I am totally going to be um, putting the whole class, what do you call that? Syllabus? Karen, is that what I call that? A syllabus? I'm going to put the whole thing together. And I am going to do, it's going to be, a, like a little little mini class that will go with the photo class. And then the other thing I'm going to work on is putting up the photo class again. So I will repost the photo class and then I will do that part de, like an addition onto the photo class. And all I will talk about is printing, editing, um, all the tips, my favorite apps, that kind of dealio. It's I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it for you, friends. So let's keep going here because you're like, okay, keep working while you're doing all that talking. My mother will be out there going, okay, just keep working while you're doing that talking, Vicki. You said you weren't going to be on here long because you weren't feeling well. And here I am. Got to make sure they don't go underneath. Okay, that's a big thing when you're doing your like little, little uh, thingamabobbers here is you don't want the dies to lay on top of each other. So make sure that they don't move. So I need to 
print lots, right? Because or cut out lots, because we're gonna put them on the layout and we're gonna put them on the card. Yeah, you know what, Stella, though, and I can tell you that um, I have just learned the stuff literally through uh, practice and play. I am not tech savvy. Oh, my goodness. But it's one of those things, you know, when like things that I would like to be better at, that's one of them. So I'm trying to actively learn how to uh, what the best apps and all those kind of things are. Because I, I don't like that I don't know how, you know? So I'm working on that. You like people to like what you like. Not everyone uh, likes scrapbooking or mini books. Definitely, right? That's why I have to make sure I do cards too. That's why I have to keep doing the cards. Because here's the other thing. If you've hung around long enough, you will know I love card making. And a lot of people here are, remember when I talked about it? Do you guys want to see more cards? And people freaked out. I want layouts. And I'm like, it's okay. I'll still do all of the things. But um, I find as my children have got older that I love making cards because I'm not, not everything is totally photo based. Hi, Sonia. Question. I'm interested in the printer you use, but I'm wondering how often your photos not colored correctly when you, your, your printer starts row, running low on blue or whatever. Um, Sonia, I have not had really any issue with that, with that printer, and I've had it for years. So um, has anyone else had an issue with when, like, one color of ink uh, runs out? I really haven't had any issues with that. So, um, like I'm telling you, I just love that printer. I have not, there's not really a list of anything that I've had any kind of issue with it. Uh, everything has printed off fine. Uh, when it runs low, I just replace my ink. I also am of the school when I order, I order two inks. Your printer paper does make a difference. Your photo editing makes a difference. And like with any printer, I will do test prints and know that, oh, my printer prints a little bit light. So when I edit it, I'll make sure my photos all on my um, phone screen look a little bit darker because there's a whole thing. Your phone isn't calibrated to the printer. So you might have to do some little like tricky little fiddling around to just kind of know like, oh yeah, my camera always on my camera, it looks lighter and prints darker or vice versa. And then um, just make sure you make up for that. Editing is huge. Editing is huge. Knowing your uh, your tools is a huge part. But uh, the printer is called the Epson Picture Mate 400. It is not always the easiest printer to find. At Christmas, I find they go on sale and you can find them almost way, it's a way easier. My favorite photo printer, are you ready for it? Paper. And I don't care what you say, I'll fight you on this one. I think it's the best. Here, I'm going to grab it. Let's grab it. Show you the things. So, this is the printer. And this is the photo paper that I think is the bomb diggity. Best photo paper ever. You ready? So, this is the printer. It's the Epson Picture Mate 400. Look how small that is. I love it. It will print a five by seven, a four by six, a three and a half by five. Don't know why you print that. I would just print it on these things and then cut it out. But that's what it looks like. This is the printer. Love it. Probably should order a second one just to have it. You ready? This paper is the best photo paper. Staples Ultra Premium Photo Paper in Satin. Satin Ultra Premium Photo Paper from Staples. Let me show you how thick, look at how thick this paper is. It is nice and thick. It has like a little texture on it. So it has some shine. It's not matte, but it is not stinky, um, high gloss that fingerprints go all over it. And you can't, uh, the colors are all whack. I printed this off my phone. This was taken at nighttime. It is not like the best, but
but look how pretty it printed. I have a whole drawer full of photos that are printed on my Epson Picture Mate 400. Look at this. I love this. I love the photo paper. I love the printer. Just telling you. I would not lead you astray. If I didn't use it on my own, I wouldn't tell you guys to get it. So, again, do you have to have it to play with Vicky Booten? Definitely not. But if you're looking for something like that, and that little tip I just provided helps you, yay, that is a win on a Friday night, right? You haven't been able to find it. Yeah, it's it's tricky. I got to look. That paper looks, um, that pr printer looks small. Is it personal? It will print a five by seven and four by sixes. It is a color printer. It is comes with ink. It is an ink printer. So it is not thermal or any of those other things. I still think for me it is the best. I think Amazon has it. I don't know. I haven't looked, right? Because I have mine already. Um, but definitely I think it is worth every penny. Love the thing. I haven't looked, so I can't tell you if um, you like when I talk about myself in third person. It happens a lot, right? You can't find the paper. Are you Canadian, Linda, or American? Because it's only going to be on uh, Staples, right? And I know in Canada, it's been sold out for a long time. So thank goodness I live right on the border. Doesn't might not help you at all, uh, but I will buy it. Um, and my friend Valerie gets it in her mailbox, and then I go pick it up. Because uh, yeah, I know it's a problem, right? So we need to we need to fall follow up with Staples and find out why, why, why is it not available in Canada? Like what's going on? Because now we can't use as much COVID as like the main reason anymore. So is it that they just aren't ordering it? Is there not a demand in Canada like there used to be? I want to know why. Inquiring minds, right? Okay. We're almost done and we'll get to the next part. So Sorry if I missed your question, right? The satin is hard to find. If you can find it in the eight and a half by 11, um, you can use that. But yeah, we got to find out. But I know it's in the U.S. Staples has it in stock. So I do not know if they will ship to Canada. But maybe it's because, see, maybe I'm going to have to order a case of it. And then I'll just put it up on vickybooten.com for my Canadians. So let me look into that. Remind me. And I can, I can order a whole bunch of it and then just list it on my store. So uh, I will look into it. If you need me to do it, I will be your, your uh, dealer, your uh, photo paper dealer. Uh, the paper is this one. Ultra premium satin, heavyweight paper. It's awesome. I love it. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna cut out a few more. A few more because we've got a card and a layout, right, friends? And this is how I roll. Once I get doing the things, I just keep doing the things. So, almost done here. Let's do some in this size off of this one here. Yeah, I love it. I do, I do. And anybody who hangs out with me knows because I've been talking about it for years, that photo paper. Good stuff. Okay, just do a couple little more little ones and uh, we're ready to do the things. Who's working with me tonight? Is anyone playing along? Or are you making something else? Or was it a rough week and you're just hanging out? watching your husband's watching something beside you and you're you're hanging out watching me always curious what happens best buy has the printer in stock for 269 it'll be the best money vicky the paper pusher i'm telling you right you did circles i love it pamela i'm gonna cut out some leaves yes yes i love that great irene's working i'm hanging out and making something different i love it nicole what are you working on is it like assignment work or is it just for fun? I hope that you get to craft just for fun sometimes too, right? 
But yes, I have to send out de design team boxes. But uh, I was waiting so I could put all of it in one box. And then I had so much print shop that it wouldn't all fit on the truck. So they have to split it in two orders. And now I'm leaving town. So it's coming. I will do the things, but like everything in my life, I also did not expect to be sick all week. That was definitely no bueno, not fun at all. Is Victoria Marie still here? I love her. Beautiful artwork, awesome family. I don't know if all the regulars are here tonight or not, right? Tired tonight. Hubby is watching Guy Fieri while I watch you. I love it. Is Guy Fieri, like, is it in the shopping thing? Or is he going around to, what is, is what is Guy doing? Just watching tonight, distracting my busy brain. That's always good, right? I'm making resin earrings tonight. Love that. It's a challenge coming to the community. Oh, that's fun. I'm working on the mini album of my cruise for the 20th anniversary. Today is your 27th anniversary. Happy anniversary, Wendy. And to your significant other. I love that. Okay. All right. I feel like we can do some things. I'm going to cut out of the other color, though, a couple blue hearts. Okay. And I promise that I'm done. I promise, promise, promise. I'm great entertainment. I'm something else, aren't I? Yeah, my body needs rest. Well, and thank goodness going on this cruise will be good and spending a week with my um, friend Katrina. She has a, a plan. We're going to go to the color factory. So my friends in Texas, uh, are you familiar with this? I'm going to the color factory. I don't know what it is, but listen. You know me. Doesn't that sound like something that'd be right up my alley? Color factory. So she said, if you want to take tons of photos, and I'm like, uh, yeah, and wear bright colored clothes, I'm down for the color factory. Was making cart. Hello, Mari. And now you're going to play with some new mixed media stuff. I got my print shop this week. So awesome. That's exciting. Hello. That is very fun. And how's that? So Mari, explain to me, is that house that you put pictures of, is it going to be your permanent home or is it a cottage? I just love that. I want to know, like, is that your going to be your permanent dwelling? Diners, drive-ins and dives. I love that. Right. I'm having a late breakfast here in Australia. Today is your 34th wedding anniversary. Happy anniversary, Susan. Tell her to allocate twice as much time as she thinks for you to take photos. Michelle. Michelle is, listen, Michelle took me to the stinky dead horse fart um, ponds. What are they called, Michelle? Smelliest thing you've ever seen, smell. Rotten, sulfur, dead people fart place. But it was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. So there were all these different like bubbling pools of, of red and green and pink and amazing thermal pools. Yes, that's a nice name for it. Stinkiest thing you have ever smelt in your life. So Nat, uh, Michelle and Michelle took me to go see these thermal pools. And we were literally there for hours. And they were the best people because they totally let me just walk around and take as many photos as I wanted and just found a bench and hung out, even though it smelled like stinky dead horse fart. I, I can't even explain to you what the smell is like nothing you've ever smelt in your life. But if you were ever in New Zealand, what area were we in? Was it Tupapapau? Pupapapa? I don't remember what the area was called. I could, never can remember or say any of the words in New Zealand. But I want to go back there one day, right? The color factory sounds amazing. There is one, uh, we call it rotten eggs. Yeah, it's, it's very sulfur stinky. Okay, guess what? The die cutting is done. Woohoo! So if you left me, you can come back and do that. Sulfur gives a rotten egg smell. 
uh, Rotorua, right? Rotorua on our way home from, how do I say it? Ta Tapau? Probably not doing it right. She's probably ashamed of me. But uh, I loved it. Are you still planning to come through Waco? I think so, Wanda. I don't know what day. My friend Katrina is making the plans. And she said she has quite the list. We're going to be doing lots of fun stuff. So we are going to go to Waco. I need to get a Dr. Pepper t-shirt or something. Because I love my diet, Dr. Pepper. And... Um, we are going to yarn count as multimedia. Sure it does, right? Uh, but yeah, I think we're planning on doing that. I just don't know what day it is. I'd have to let you know. Okay, let's do the things. It took longer. I could have prepped all of that, but then I wouldn't have had stuff to show you. So give me a second here. Yellowstone can be smelly like that where the hot pools are, I bet but they're beautiful. It's quite amazing. I was very excited to get to do, go do that, but the smell was a little bit of a shocker, a little bit of a shocker. And I laughed because Allie Edwards, when I was there, she had said she had gone. She commented on my thing and said she went there. And I think one of her family members was with her sister or brother-in-law or something. And I think they got sick. Go to Christmas. What is what is Christmas? What is that? You love Rotorua? Rotorua? Is that where the black swans were too? Michelle, we went and saw that was I loved that. Wherever we were, the shopping was so good. We went into some really amazing little gift shops. Your sister lives in Texas. I love that. Go to Yellowstone at Christmas. Why? What happens at Christmas in Yellowstone? Yeah, that was cool. I can still picture all of that in my head. That whole trip. And we got to... Michelle also pulled over because it in um, New Zealand, they have the toadstools that are red with the white dots on it. So she pulled over so I could go toadstool hunting so I could take pictures of those. And George came from Tapau. Yeah, T Tapau. I'm sure I'm not saying it right. Um, but yes, he did. And then Tim Holtz loved George and needed to find out where I found that. Yeah, definitely go there, Donna. New Zealand is one of the most amazing places I've ever been to. Okay, so we all saw that big sheet full of mixed media. And now... When we take contained funk and just put it on a white background, it's going to be so pretty. So if you are so inclined, a sewing machine would be awesome right now. A sewing machine would be an awesome tool to use for this project. I would totally sew all of these hearts all over this page. But I need a new one. My friend Karen tells me that mine works great and I've decided I need to buy myself a new sewing machine because here's help me friends that sew. So I will look at people's pages that stitch. <coughs> <coughs> Had to have a drink. And I want my stitches to look like they really pull down. So mine looks like and it's not a tension thing. It's just the style of my sewing machine. It doesn't pull the like under stitch down through. I don't, I don't know what it's weird, but I need a good sewing machine that really makes it look textural and sewn. So now I need to be on the lookout for a new sewing machine. I need, I'm going to buy one and I'm sure people who sew would have a heart attack because I'm going to spend money on a proper sewing machine that I'm going to only sew on paper and stuff, but I'm doing it. You know, it makes me sad as we're looking through here. I didn't get very many blue ones. Did I, I live in Australia, so it's not far. I will be coming soon to Australia in the fall of 2023 and New Zealand. So I'm very excited about that. I'm going to be teaching at my friend Natalie's store in Australia for um, one land visit. 
And then uh, for any of you guys that are coming on the cruise with me, we will be doing two cruises. And I will have a new Christmas collection by then and a new fall collection. I was going to use print shop and a couple different things, but now that, that, um, that ship has sailed. <laughs> print shop is done. I can't order anymore now because paper's gone and the 12 by 12 paper pads are all sold out. So whatever I have on hand, there will be no extra print shop kits. Once these are gone, that will be it. This is going to be one that sells out. Like, I think Fernwood was like that, right? Color study definitely was like that. If you're going to only use paper, do not recommend a Bernina. They are fabulous machines, but too pri pricey for your purpose. What are the ones that are on the shopping channel? I just need one that does what it needs to do. Excited about you coming to Australia. Natalie is keeping us up to date. I can't wait. It's going to be a lot of fun. Going to have a great time. Um, I'm just doing the one land class because I also am flying a very far distance. I would actually like to see Australia too, right? So we're going to be on a, a ship for two weeks. I would like to make sure that I have uh, one land class like a weekend of classes, but I also would like to tour around, right? So I can see um, some different stuff. Where can I print uh, pr print shop? VickiBooten.com is a whole weekend event where we will be um, creating a mini album. We will be making uh, at least eight layouts, probably 10, and cards. So everything that you get in the kit is what you need to participate in that weekend. And then for my friends who have purchased Print Shop on their own, as the uh, date gets closer, I will do access only like I do for all my classes. And we can do that as well. So I'm just sorting by color quickly, okay? Is Australia sold out? The in-person class is not because I have not even given Natalie all the details yet because it's just my life right now. Um, but the cruise, I believe, if Michelle is still here, I think the cruise is sold out. But that can always change. Some people will cancel because it is a year away, right? Come to Melbourne. Melbourne, I'd love to. I would travel down and take you around sightseeing. I have no. I would like to do Melbourne. I would like to do Sydney. I would just. I have no clue where any of that stuff is and how far it is from. I had a cruise cancellation, so get in touch. See, so there's a spot on the um, cruise. It's going to be a lot of fun. Janome, that's the one, right? So, Dandy, send me that message so I know which Janome to look, to look at. Okay, let's do the things now, all right? So do I have two sheets? Yes, so I don't have to move all of these. What kind of card size do you guys want me to make? Do you want me to make a um, slimline? Because you know it's my favorite. Or do you have any kind of preference? Oh, I want to do all of the things, right? Morning from Australia. We were just talking about Australia, Sherry. Okay, I'm going to do a slimline. So remind me because my brain is tired. Eight and a half, right? Eight and a half. I have one right here. Let's measure it. Eight and a half sounds good. No slim line. Stacy, why no to my slim line? Stacy, why are you breaking my dreams and breaking my heart with the no slim line? What size do you want then? Tell me before I cut my paper. Uh, five by seven. Um, A2. Look at you, you slim line haters. What's going on? <clears throat> I would love that, Sherry. Uh, five by seven. So Joy said five by seven. So I, I'm going to do a five by seven. I A1, A2, you, you got to tell me sizes, right? Remember, I'm a pretend card maker. So here's my whole thing. <clears throat> is scale. And you know why I like slimline is because I can get lots of crap on there. Um, what's my favorite photo app? Uh, my favorite photo app is... The old um, <clears throat> pick, pick tap go. I love pick tap go. That's pretty much what I generally use, pick tap go. Um, so give me a size, five by seven. 
What is A2? Is A2 uh, four and a quarter by five and a half? What is A1? What size is that? Remember, fake card maker over here. I don't know all the lingo. <clears throat> and I feel like with card making, I need to learn the lingo. I am very intimidated by all of that. So there, I put it out there. Um, I am very intimidated by, I said it, I said it, intimidated by the card making community. <laughs> right not that i'm biased or anything but it is well known fact the whole world that perth <laughs> in western australia is the safest most beautiful place ever you will experience creative thinking overload i am very excited about that <clears throat> a2 is a a2 yeah i knew a2 size but what is a1 size i don't know what that is i want to know what a1 is i knew a2 was four and a quarter by five and a half but i didn't what is a1 because now I want to make one for Stacy. I'm new to your channel, but loving it. I live in beautiful Southern Oregon near Crater Lake. I love that. Welcome, Karen. We do this on uh, Friday nights and uh, we have a lot of fun, right? I'm intimidated by how we will float the cutouts on the page. <laughs> what do you mean how you'll float the cutouts on the page? Oh, these ones. Okay, get ready for it. So here we go. A1 is a steak sauce. Is there a card size that's an A1? Oh my goodness. Now you're getting into like the 0.224878. I can't do that math. Oh, you hit the wrong number. Okay. So let's do A2 size then, right? So I need a five and a half. No, I need to do this. What do I need to do? This, right? Uh, yes. Okay. So let's go. My my brain is very tired. No, nope, five and a half will work, right? I can do that. Five and a half by eight and a quarter. No, eight and a half. That's perfect, Vicky. That is perfect, Vicky. Four and a quarter. There we go. Just I'm gonna just do an A2 size. See, that was a good thing that you brought to my attention, Stacy, about the mailing. Remember, I never mail anything. <laughs> so there, a gatefold. So we need to talk about that. I'd have to research that a little because I wouldn't want to look like a dum-dum when I don't know how to cut it all out. So I'd have to research that because, right, I love making cards. I'm intimidated by... Um, my lack of knowledge does that make sense so i find when i'm with a group of card makers and in not in a bad way i just want to say that not in a bad way what i love about the card making community is that i am encouraged to be learning new things and how uh, tools are used in a whole different way than how my brain works how uh, organized some card makers are. Uh, and it is a total time commitment, right? With all the fussy cutting and uh, prep work and like for card classes, man, there's a ton of part, uh, prep work, right? So that's, I don't want it to sound, but it I find it intimidating because I need to do the things. Hi, Leah. Um, any updates on the meet and greet? I'll let you know. I will arrive in Texas on Sunday, and I will talk to um, my friend that I'm staying with, Katrina, because I do want to go and visit the washi wall. So I haven't made a plan with that, but card makers have the best hacks out there, 100%. But I feel like I need to um, have time to do all the things. So I made uh, a two size. I don't know if my hearts are going to fit on there with the scale that I'm going to use. So they probably can, but I have to put all the smaller ones on here and the big on here. So let's start with my big hearts to start. Big hearts to start. And I'm going to do it kind of like a rainbow. So I'm going to start with yellow at the bottom. So big hearts to start. And we'll go from yellow, yellow into the pink. Right? 
I'm going to go from yellow into the pink and peach. Put on the bigger after. Thank you very much, Michelle. But you, you know what I'm saying? I can make cards. I just don't know all of the lingo. I don't know all of the tools. Like, look at, I just pulled out my, um, my die cutting machine and probably some of you were looking at my plates and how warped they are and going, Oh my goodness, Vicki, I need to come and help you. And I would agree with it. I'm like, for sure. I need help. Cause I, I don't know. Um, so that's what I mean by that. I don't mean, I don't like the card making. I mean, or trying to say that as teaching it or sharing it here, I am definitely a novice. I guess that's more what I'm talking about. I'm totally a novice. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm loving the mini slimline size. I'll have to try that. A1 for tags sounds perfect. Love that. Um, there is a Google chart with all the sizes and names for different cards. Yes, I have. And I've done it, right? Because normally before I come on here, if I'm going to make cards, I'll go and do some research. So I don't look like a dum-dum, <laughs> but uh, I know with working um, and doing this card class that I'm going to be taking a part in, uh, for me, it is a little, it's a, intimidating, right? It can be a little bit intimidating because I'm like, I don't know all this lingo that these people are sharing. I hope that they will still love me. So it, it can be a little bit, right, where you look at it and go, ooh, geez. Do I sound like a dum-dum? But the community is very loving and welcoming. So I'm sure that uh, some of them might be like, oh my goodness, she's a dum-dum. And others will uh, welcome me with open arms. You'll be amazing, right? You, but you get what I'm saying, right, Mari? I Can I make cards? 100% I can make cards, but for like the people who solely make cards, only make cards, they are way more up to date on all of the tools, uh, the little uh, hacks, the uh, certain ways to use minty tape and different um, uh, foam tape. So I'll do my thing, but I, I get nervous that they won't look at it and go, but you could have done it this way would have been better. I guess that's my thing is, will it, this way would be better. And I'll be like, probably, I just don't have any clue about that because I live in a van down by the river, <laughs> right? I live in a van down by the river. All right. So look at, I think that's going to be pretty. We'll put one big yellow one. And then um, I wish I had more blue hearts, but I don't. So we're just going to go with it. So it's so quiet in my house. Riley is at a hockey game tonight, his university's first hockey game. And then <clears throat> Devin has gone up to Western to visit her friend. And they're going to a Western bar and doing whatever fun stuff that you do when you're young and foolish, right? So uh, can I do my card first? I'm going to commit to the card first. And then we'll do the layout. And I'm going to find lots of pop dots laughed out loud in a van down by the river. That is my favorite ever SNL skit, right? With Chris Farley. Live in a van down by the river and then smashes through the table. I love it. Okay, I just got panicky and went and bought Print Shop. I love this collection. Oh, my goodness. And it's not to freak you out. It's just I want you guys to know that um, it's not always the case that these sell out that fast, but that one is going to go fast. I'm starting to like this card. Yay! Right? And my so my point is with my lesson for tonight or Golden Nugget is mixed media can be contained and very simple on a white background. It does not have to be a whole bunch of crazy going on. Do you guys like to put dimension in your cards or do you like flatter cards? You're using print shop right now. I love it. I love Chris Farley too. Yeah. Super sad. Sandler. You're going to see Adam Sandler. Is he doing stand up? I would love that, man. 
Okay, I'm digging that right there, liking that. Pull that pink one down in here. I'm gonna put that pink guy here. And then the purple. <gasps> I love this so far. Oh my goodness, I love it. So nice when stuff comes together, right? You like dimension, pop dots, depends uh, if you're mailing it. And depends where you're mailing it to probably, right? So I am going to have to start mailing my cards so I will know all about that. So I uh, punched this all out of um, foundations paper. And I have to say, not just because my name is on it. I freaking love foundations paper. Vicky, save a print shop kit for me. I think I need some of to add to your Vicky shrine. I will pick it all up when I come to see you in two weeks. Yeah, you can shop whatever you want when you come here, Natalie. You will look in here and go, this isn't in your store. I'll say, I know. I probably have uh, like 20 um, SKUs to add at least to my store when I get back. And it's all stuff we're going to be using and doing some fun stuff with. But yeah, it's, oh, I'm going to put that a little higher. Yes, I like that better right there. So I'm layering my card. I have no sentiment picked, nothing. I'll plan that in a minute or after. But I'm digging this so much. The screen's frozen. It's uh, just refresh or come back out and go back in. Can someone type that for Mitzi? Because it's fine on mine. It's fine on mine. Yeah, a lot of you guys did pre-orders and... Just telling you, it is sold out, paper pads. So it'll be one of those things. If um, they're gone, they're gone. I do not think American Crafts will reorder. I don't think that this will be one of the collections they reorder. I think when it's gone, it's gone. Okay, that. Okay, this guy's going to pop up. So let's plan him. What plans do you guys have for this weekend? Anything fun going on? Have your kids started playing sports again? Um, any family get-togethers? Anything exciting? Did you answer my question to poor Mari? I asked her a question and then wasn't looking at the screen. So she probably answered it. And I don't even know what she said with her lovely house. You're listening to your Barry Manilow. I love it, right? Her name was Lola. She was a showgirl with yellow feathers in her hair and her dress cut down to there. It's a family cottage, building with a family. I love it so much, Mari. So when the invitations go out, I will be expecting mine so I can come and check it out because I am loving you posting. Um, all the photos, absolutely loving it. Those windows, oh, we are insulating this weekend, going up tomorrow. Enjoy it, friend. Ladies' luncheon, yum. I want it. Hi, that's my mom, right? Hey, Natalie, when you come to Vicky's, I'm coming over to meet you in person. Can't wait. Let's look at that, Natalie. You get a little Sheila action. When you come to see me, you get to visit and meet with my mama. Gotta love that, right? All day crop tomorrow. On call for the hospital this week. Not doing much yet. That's hard when you're on call, right? Uh, oh my goodness. So, Nicole, I can come pick you up and then we can go see Mari? Oh my goodness. We're totally going to do that. Don't forget that. Spending the weekend in San Diego. With your new granddaughter, congratulations. It's my mom's 75th birthday tomorrow, so celebrating that a bit. I love it. Road trip. I'm in. I am in, Mari. And, and just know that it's going to happen now. Totally, because I miss Nicole. We haven't seen each other in 12 million years. So we need to make that happen, Nick. We need to make it happen. Look at friends. Do you see what I'm talking about? I hope you guys, oh, 
I love that with all that mixed media magic on a white background. On a white background. And I'm going to put some little hearts on here too. But I love, I, uh, in case you didn't know, I love this. Like I really, 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 really love this. In case you didn't know. I miss Nicole in my life, right? Cousin meetup, first since COVID. Enjoy that, Kelly. Contained funk. I'm telling you, it is contained funk. 100% is, right? Don't know if I want that on there. Let's see. I like that, though. I will do that. And now I'm going to step away. I really love that. And I think I'm going to stamp a very simple sentiment right there, just in black, super simple. I do not think that it needs anything more than that. This is really what I wanted you, uh, a mini retreat at the cottage. I'm in. I'm missing all the comments. I'm in for a mini retreat at the cottage. I lied. I'm going to add one more there. I want one more there. Now I'm happy. Look at my card making skills. I'm probably there's here's the thing though, okay? Why don't we do this? Here's another class or not class but a Friday night live. Can we do one and it will be called Teach Vicky how to card make. And I will pull out my tools and do my things and if there is something that you know from your arsenal of tips and tricks that can make what I'm doing easier um, or you just think is the best, most helpful tip you've ever learned for card making. I would like to have a Friday night that is dedicated to stamping and card making where we ship or share ship. We share our favorite tips that you learn for card making. But I love this. Hi, Shelly. How are you? I love this, though. I have to say, this is probably one of my favorite cards ever. So now let's see what the layout's going to look like. I freaking love it. So we're going to do the same idea, the same idea, because you're like, how are we going to lay this on the layout? Same idea, right? You're going to be watching the Australian Football League AFL Grand Final. That sounds like fun. <laughs> I would just be there for the snacks. Just going to tell you that. I'm planning to work on my... Uh, homework for this weekend. Yes, Linda, for the card making. So um, have they posted, anyone who's doing the card making um, uh, class for SCT, have they posted anything about my class? I was trying to find it, but like that's what I said. I'm a, it's overwhelming because there's so much going on on that event. But I wanted to do a picture of uh, all of my homework. My homework is literally just stamping and some fussy cutting because there's not dies for all the fat flower shapes. So when I teach the mini class next Friday, if you guys are in that event, um, I'm going to do everything I can die cut and do live with you. But we have to do some homework or like here, right? There's one peak. See, that's a lot on this card. And there's no dies for it. So we have to do, um, where is Vicky's homework? That's what I'm saying. I don't know if anybody's posted anything on there. So um, I am going to share some information for my card. Uh, I'll find out from Catherine and Jen when I can post that. But I'm going to send a picture. I looked in the guides. Did you see it? But I is there anything, Mari, uh, take a peek. I didn't see anything for my class. I'm, I don't know. I didn't see the little sneak peek pictures I sent or so I'm not sure and I don't know how my class is not a regular class right so I don't know but I want to make sure I do supply uh you guys with all of the things that you need for success was it posted today for my class because I've been watching but that doesn't mean anything doesn't mean I've been watching but it doesn't mean that I see it right I could totally have missed it so I want this guy's got to pop up. This guy's got to pop up. Yeah, I got to figure it out. 
I finished my class for the scrapbooking event. If you guys are doing that, you're going to totally love it. Um, but I have not. I want the yellow popped up. Oh, there's some more pop dots. Apple Festival. That sounds like a lot of fun, Holly. That sounds like a lot of fun. I haven't done that in years. But I would like it. So, guys, okay. There's so much going on on that in that card making weekend. Uh, come and hang out with me on the Friday night, because you know, uh, a lot of people won't know who I am, right? So it is one of those things that uh, just come and make a card with me, <laughs> so I don't look like a like a weirdo with no friends. Um, but there is definitely homework because for my cards, it's if you guys did the unboxing, which I missed because I thought it was uh, Wednesday and it was in fact Thursday when I thought the day of the week was actually Wednesday. And I emailed Catherine and said, I can't wait for the unboxing. I'm here. And she's like, Vicki, today's Thursday. It was yesterday. I'm like, okay, sorry. <laughs> Cause I really did think it was, um, Wednesday when it was in fact Thursday. So I missed it. Um, but did you guys get to see the stamp set in the box? Right? This one? So this is what I'll be using. Will be this die, the stencil, and the stamp set. So my I'm making two cards on Friday and uh, I have to share, I'll share a picture of the homework because there's a whole bunch of awesome floral dies on there, but there's uh, stamps, but there's no dies for them. So that is the homework part for my class. You have uh, 2,900 friends that uh, there and you will, you will be amazing. Thank you. Linda, I had a hard time getting that out. What someone would not know who you are? Definitely not card makers. I think a lot would not have a clue who I am. Um, because, right, it's the, a lot of people pretty much think I just scrapbook, but I'm like, I've been around for so long. I do all of the things, but I'm definitely um, well known, more well known in the, uh, I think, paper crafting community than I am in the card making community maybe i could be wrong but that is what my thought is on that is that uh i know it's a big one eh eek where do we want to put this one here maybe like that and fill in some of these little ones. Look how cute the little polka dot hearts are. Okay. Going to Rib Fest. That'll be fun. You'll be there. Thank you, Kristen. And it'll be our warm up before you get on the cruise ship with me, right? Kristen will be there, boy. Are they going to be impressed with your paper crafting skills? I don't know. And maybe I can get some people to come and make mini books with me. <laughs> Cause I feel like it's, it would be the way for me to get card makers to drink some of the um, paint water is maybe with like a mini book. I feel like a mini book is something that you could transition into that, right? What is SCT? Uh, Scrapbook and Cards Today magazine. Scrapbook Cards Today magazine. Um, but yeah, maybe I can get some people to come over to um, the crazy side, right? What do you think, friends? So as I attach this, I'm going to move it over a bit. But I am digging it. I'm digging it. Put that under. Oh, I like that. Okay, I'm going to commit. So... You know what I do need to find? I'm going to find a blue heart. I need a, some little blue hearts. I want a blue heart in this size and the little size. 
because I'm feeling um, left out with the blue hearts. Right? Because look at with my with my photo. And do you see what I'm saying? Sometimes just leaving it, look it. And then we're going to put our title on here. I think that there's something to be said for very simple and clean sometimes. Right? I use blue hearts from print shop. I could, but I, I'm trying to stick true to this, Pamela, where I said all I'm going to use tonight is the background and stickers. So I am trying to not i don't want to pull in so if say you're new there's some people here that are new right maybe not even really paper crafters maybe we're like surfing the web found this crazy lady who just talks non-stop cutting out these kind of watercolor hearts and we're intrigued and i feel like this is how we get them to come and party with us on friday nights this is how we do it we can get people to come and have some fun because they do not feel like you have to buy a ton of products, right? Um, we can, because you know I am a lover of uh, scrapbooking tools and all the rest of it. Like you did not have to have a big die cutting machine. You could have cut your hearts out with just a template, right? You did not need to own anything tool wise i just pulled that out so if you guys had that you could totally use it but oop, you don't need to do that totally could put it on black paper jolene right you totally could do that right yeah the gateway you know what i'm talking about melanie i always say I am definitely the gateway, you know what, into um, mixed media art. Because I feel like, yes, you need to do the things. You need to do the things. It's fun. Look look how fun this is. And um, if you followed on uh, last Friday, we created this from Distress Ink. This whole background was just a water soluble ink that we just kind of kissed and dripped onto a page and made a beautiful background that then we are turning into a project tonight. And this could have gone in your traveler's notebook. It could, you could craft with your kids. This could just be a background that you put a note to grandma to send off, whatever you want to do with it. There are no rules. You know, my biggest thing is here's my rule. If you love to be creative and it fills part of your soul, you the one thing you should do is allow yourself that time. And I 100% truly believe that um, this is good for the soul. I absolutely love paper crafting, uh, mixed media art, stamping, card making, uh, traveler's notebooks, uh, Rolodex files, like they're handmade mini albums, six by eight mini albums. Like there are zero rules in what I will allow myself to do create creatively because I feel like it, when I'm sad, it makes me happy. When I want to connect with a community, I have an amazing built-in community around uh, crafting. I um, can do it with my friends. I can do it completely by myself. I don't have to have a big group of people that I craft with, but I also can meet up with everybody on Friday night. And uh, I have this built-in community that has been created here that I can totally hang out with. I'm loving this and paper craft with. And uh, only the people who do this understand what we're talking about. And your husband might know, your sister, your mom, because you're like, oh, you're hanging out with Vicky again. And they totally support this because they know how happy it makes you, right? 
they'll be like probably like my family and might make fun of things and be like, oh, did Vicky tell you to do that? Are you doing this? Because that's what Vicky said we need to do. And I love it. And you can say, yes, Vicky's the boss of me. I just saw that your instructions were in a PDF in the guides. Woo woo. So um, with that being said, Mindy, we do you see that the um, there is like the homework? Tell me, can you look at that stuff, guys, and tell me if you think it is um, easy, that the instructions are laid out in an easy format that you can figure out exactly what you need to do ahead of time? And if it's not the case, what you think would be helpful for me to add? Okay. Oh, my goodness, friends. Are you digging this? Look how pretty, right? Super simple. I'm going to try die cutting different shapes with this technique. Stars, circles, butterflies, anything, Deb. 100%. Right? And look how simple. I'm not I'm not backing this on any cardstock. I'm going to put this simply here. I'm going to put a big bold title. And then I'm going to handwrite my journaling or put some journal strips on here. The one thing that maybe I would add maybe some sequins through here if you wanted to, or some uh, enamel dots. You love this? Me too, Denise. And I want it to be super simple. Super simple um, that we did not have to grab a lot of tools tonight. It's just a different way to look at using your mixed media backgrounds. Where do we want this one? Kind of there, floating. Yeah, all by itself. You could stamp little stars in the background if you wanted to. The instructions look good. Do you think so, Mari? Like it's it's straightforward. I apt to be honest with you. When you guys doing that card class with me, <clears throat> I love the cards I made. If we're going to find like a very Vicky style card, it's the cards I made for that class. So let's look. Oop. <laughs> Vicky, you dum dum. I thought they were all stuck down. They were not. Did you guys just see that happen? <laughs> what a numb nut. Dingleberry. It is very therapeutic, right? <clears throat> How many of you guys found me during COVID and that it was kind of a little bit of a lifesaver, right? Is the community and look how many friends you show up here now and you have this whole community that are like, hi, how you doing? How'd your surgery go? Or how's the cat doing? Like totally no, they're listening to you, right? And we all want to show up somewhere um, where, I don't know, we feel heard, seen, that uh, people are as passionate about something as we are. Definitely Irene, right, my friend? I did, and it carried me through, yes, the passing year, son, Denise. Yeah, 100%. You know, we're there. I want you guys to feel when you show up here like it is a virtual hug. Um, it you, you saved me, right? I popped into your feet at the beginning, and look at how many of you guys are still here. I didn't scare you away with my craziness. And look at, you're still back, coming back. That is the best, is that, did I glue everything down now? Did you like that when I picked it up and it all fell off? <laughs> what a dingleberry. That's what rich is, that's a rich saying, dingleberry. Dingleberry. Okay, let's see, are they glued down now? Do you think I put them all on here or am I gonna lift it up and move them again? No, they're on, oh, that one is not tricked ya. Kim is still here. Lots of you. I found you back in the 90s. <laughs> Love it. I joined late and did not see how you created the paper for the hearts. Jennifer, last week, do you remember we did the rainbow mixed media background? And it was just like uh, kissing to the paper and um, the whole distress ink kind of technique. Well, when I was trying to think of what are we going to do tonight, I was like, we should do something very simple, showing people that, because um, I'm all about now, how today's 
lesson started was one of my thing was that like I read comments right when posting and people will be like um I don't like scrapbooking I don't like card making or this isn't my jam and then I'm always like why I want I want I want to know why not that I'm trying to change your mind well I would try to change your mind but more like I want to know why it doesn't appeal to you I'm just curious as a crafter who all of the things appeal to me so then I went well hopefully tonight will change people's mind on mixed media where maybe they look at it and go mixed media is not for me because they watched the whole process of me making that background last week right and they might have showed up just because they like to be here and it's fun but they're like that's poo poo i don't like it not for me and then i went okay if we take a whole background because look we totally can use this too and i contain the funk in a die cut and put it on a simple white background. Maybe this is how I get you to eat the peas, right? Totally how I get you to eat the peas. You hate the peas, but I'm like, if I cover the peas in butter and garlic, maybe you'll like the peas. So if I do mixed media with contained funk on a white background, maybe this is the thing that changes your mind. So that is in my bag of tricks with all of the things we're going to be doing in upcoming Friday Night Lives is how I can convince you to like what I like. <laughs> it totally is. How can I convince you to like what I like? And that's by showing you different applications because I want you to do the things that I, I like to do. Right? Do you think it's true? This is how I get you to eat the peas. And then look at the card that I made. So I, I looking at the camera, it doesn't show up so well, but I will photograph this and I'm going to put a simple sentiment right here. Hello, whatever, simple sentiment. I want this card to be literally just that pretty art is what is, um, taking center stage. So I love that. I, uh, hi, Brenda. How are you to do inspired me to do many pages using your many techniques. I love that, right? I just always like to give you guys a different flavor. So maybe if watermelon and art crayons wasn't your thing, but I show you cherry and that's your favorite flavor, right? So um, I just want to make sure I'm just switching it up, bringing you different things and that you keep watching out watching and hanging out with me because I'd be really, really sad if you left and you don't hang out and do the crafting things. And that's why I pressure you to do mini album with me. Come and do the weekend event, pick one that appeals to you. Like if it's, if you've never come and done one of my class weekends, like I said, a lot of people will look at the value, like say the Christmas kit, 198 Canadian dollars. I'm like, you have a 30 some odd dollar album you have uh 18 i don't know wait more than that uh paper pads everything that you need in there to make it then plus we spend like three days making crafts so i said you can't the best gift you ever gave yourself and we sit down and make the things and then i would feel happy because i'd be like okay you tried one and then you're like yep vicky i still don't like mini albums and i'm like well i can't argue with that because you tried it right and then um, maybe you start liking cards or you like scrapbooking. So that's my whole thing. Just come and do the things with me. Don't leave me. I love all the things too. Okay. So my idea was um, I wanted to talk maybe about my outfit. I felt good in this picture. So I felt good. I had bought this really pretty necklace. Can you see the necklace? Oh, I have it right here. Isn't that funny? <laughs> Kari, if Kari's still here. It's in my bag. I had taken it off and put it in my bag. So let me show you my necklace. So I freaking love this necklace. So this necklace, look, it is kind of my inspiration for this layout. Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? I bought it at Zara and I saw it hanging there and I was like, oh my goodness. I love that. But if you know me, I don't wear a lot of necklaces because my hair is short and I like big earrings. So I always feel like if I have big earrings on, I don't know if I want a big necklace on. So I had this necklace and then I had this little um, caftan little thingy, right? So when I 
had my background and I went to grab a photo because I had made the background first. I'm like, oh my goodness, it matches perfectly. And then um, I love my outfit. So I wanted to talk about something like feeling good. I think that's going to be my title for here is feeling good. And then that song is in my head with, is it Michael Buble? Birds in the sky, you know how I feel. I could cough tonight, so I got to be careful. But I'm feeling good. That's what I want on here. Feeling good. So I found good on these thickers that are from Storyteller. So I thought feeling good is, is my story. And I think I'm going to actually even journal on here. You know how I feel. That's so every time I look at this layout, I will sing that song because this layout is also musical. And that is my vibe for this feeling good. So that's why I'm encouraging you to print a photo of yourself. It could be black and white. And definitely document those things, right? Because not every day do I feel good. Lots of days I don't feel good at all. So I love that this day I felt good. I was hanging out with my friend Kari. We went and did wine tasting, which I had never done before. And here, there's another lesson. You want to know why I didn't do wine tasting? Because I thought I didn't like wine. I'm like, ah, whatever. I don't need to jump on that bandwagon. It's not for me. And Kari planned our weekend, and I was just happy that somebody made plans. I was just, I didn't have to think. I just went. So um, I didn't tell Kari that, hey, I'm not really into wine tasting, not my jam. And I went and did it, just like eating the peas sautéed in garlic, even though I hate peas. I freaking loved wine tasting. I had the best time ever, and now I realize I really like wine. Just no one ever, I uh, had never taken the time to find the wine that I enjoy, which is very dry. And I really am enjoying red wine, which I thought I hated red wine. So this is the point I'm making. Do not put limitations on anything you do in life. If you are predominantly a double page scrapbooker, it's okay to do a single. It's okay to do cards. It's okay to knit or crochet. Do all the things because you never know what you're missing out on until you try it. So this layout is feeling good like I am tonight. Feeling good. Red is the best. I freaking love it. And dry. Riley like Rich. That's not my son. Riley. Um, Rich, my husband, really likes sweet, sweet sugar soda pop wine. And we do not like the same wine. Pinot Noir. Yum. Mm. Don. Spring, I'm hoping that we can go. Are you going to the fall um, event? I can't because I'm going to be on a cruise ship. So uh, can we please everybody go and hang out with me for the spring one? Please have another one. Once you go red, you never go back. Oh, my goodness. I'll have to find the bottle. because. Oh, and guess what else I had? Kari, are you still here? She's probably in bed. I tried port. I like port, but there's two different kinds of port. And I really liked port. Who knew? Sweet lollipop wine is your jam. I'm reserved, but haven't booked your flight yet. Okay, because I'm really sad that I, I can't come. So if you do go, you tell everybody that they miss me. You tell them they miss me and that we have to do a spring event and I'm coming. So what am I doing feeling? So are we okay if I don't put a G on the end? That I'm just feeling good? And I'm feeling good. So let's decide what letters we're doing. I need two E's. Birds in the sky, you know how I feel. Mm -mm -mm -mm. You know how I feel. So I'm just trying to pick the colors of my letters. So what do I need? An L. It is very dependent on what is in here. Spring is already reserved. I'm
Hi. Had to do that. So just a sec. Now I got to get the camera. There we go. Sorry if I made you sick. Uh, Riley called me. Nanny, can you text your grandson and tell him to call his father? Uh, I can't uh, go pick him up. I'm sure he's calling me that um, he needs a ride. Should I put a G on feeling? I'm almost done. Or, uh, yeah, my son called me. Um, and then I'm like, okay, and now I can't turn my mic back on. So, um, but you get where I'm going with this, right? He needs a ride. And I will happily go pick him up if he can wait for 15 minutes, because I'm almost done here. Or um, his father can go get him. A little apostrophe, yeah. That's what I was thinking. I don't think, because in the song, it's not, there's no, he's not feeling, right? He's feeling, feeling good. So I will put like that. And then I will put a little apostrophe on the end. Are you digging this, friends? Are you feeling good with me? Feeling good. And then I'll decide if I want them all straight or if I kind of like the little layery bits. But I'm going to feel, because I feel like I need to fit that. Feeling good. Oh, I don't know, friends. I think I need a G. I asked you and now I'm looking at it going, mm, I think I need a G. I don't, I don't know if I'm feeling, feeling. Yeah, I don't know if I'm feeling, feeling. I think I need to put the G on here. Feeling. Feeling. Nothing more than feeling. Trying to forget my feelings. Oh. What is it? What are we feeling in that song? I don't remember what the words were for that. Feelings of love. Somebody remembered that song for me. Is that what the songs are? Who sings that one? There we go. So it's going to be something like this. So I will finish that. Okay, I'm going to finish it. But I like feeling good better. Feeling good. nothing more than peelings. I love it. So you get what I'm saying though. This is going to end up when I'm done being very simple layout, very simple. I will post a picture of it. Um, I think I will end up cause this is much deeper than this color. Do you know what I'm saying? So I will probably go through and put a couple of dots of something up here. But other than that, I don't want to mat the photo. You could, but I'm trying. I'm, I'm trying to channel this very plain. So I think feeling good. And then I'll put a little heart here. And I'm going to put some little rhinestones or something up through here. And I'll take a picture and I'll post this. I don't want splatters on here, Michelle. I want to keep it true to the people who mix media freaks them out that this is very clean. So I will put maybe some uh, enamel dots or something in it, but very simple. And then probably a little label up here. And I'm gonna make journaling a design element on here. So I might move some stuff around, but I feel like I need very structured journaling. Does that make sense? Stitching through the hearts, I would love that, yeah. I think that I might even hand stitch on this. Oh, that'll freak you guys right out, right? I might put some hand stitching on here, like just some little X's. That would be fun, right? And then I could bring the boldness of there, some black X's, just black, little cross stitch. 
I think that's what I'll do. I love it. Is that Morris Albert who sings that song, One Hit Wonder? Now, you know what else just popped into my head? Raindrops are falling on my head. And just like a man whose feet are too big for his bed, nothing seems to fit. Those raindrops keep falling on my head. They keep falling. So I don't know. It's I, I don't know. Is that all around the time? Um, with a pen. But I'm going to stitch, Jennifer. And then I'm going to handwrite on there. He said he's fine. Forgot you were alive. Does he need a ride, though, Mom? Because I'm almost done. I can totally do it. I like to, to uh, pick the kids up. So let's flip the camera. Here we go. Hi. That was a lot of fun, right? Bring in the black. I think so. The black... I agree with that, Shelly. We'll tie the black around the alpha letters. Now I wish I would have bought cases of those um, color study alphas, right? But here, maybe you guys can see this better. I absolutely love this. Love how this turned out. So very much thank you for suggesting the A2 size. I agree with you, Stacy. I love um, how I fit it into this space. So see, I took your suggestion and I did the things and I'm really happy with how that turned out. So friends, I will not be back for until after Canadian Thanksgiving. All right. So I will be back, which that's around October 10th. So whatever that Friday is, I don't know what that Friday is, but that's when I will be back. And I will be using the Friday I'm back Tim Holtz, Distress Pencils. So be ready for that. I'm going to be making a card with it. I'm going to kind of do like all of, it will literally be Vicky's um, product review uses for. And so it will not be a finished project, but it will be just like when I did with my art crayons. And just when I do with, we're going to go through how I love to use them. And maybe we will do some cards or tags or backgrounds or something using all the techniques, but going to totally go through um, that. Yeah, I'll be back, Shelly. It's just, I'm not, I'm going to be gone. I leave on Sunday for two weeks. So October 14th will be the um, Tim Holtz Distress Pencils um, Friday Night Live. So we're going to crack those babies out and I'm going to show you how I like to use them. So uh, I think that'll be fun. I love the color palette on your card. Yay, thank you. So I don't think it's the 8th, right? Is it the 8th? Is Thanksgiving early this year? Be my anniversary on the 10th. I don't even know. Many, many years. We've been married for many, many years. So um Whatever it is, Canadian Thanksgiving, whatever that Monday is, if the Friday's the 8th, that's when I'll be back, okay? And we are going to use, so you know ahead of time, that Friday will be a um, distress pencil uh, whole evening. So if you are on the fence, I'll show you how I like to use them. If you have them already, we will just sit down and play with them. So I will send out... Uh, at least a day before the things that I'm going to use. Like, so I will give you a whole list of what I'll be playing with, with them. And then we'll do that. This, the eighth is the Saturday. So the 14th, it is the 14th. So it'll be October 14th when I will be back and um, we're going to have fun. So uh, love the pencils. Can't wait. It'll be a lot of fun, right? Um, I love that. So 10, 10 is Canadian Thanksgiving. That is my anniversary, the 10th, October 10th. Well, Rich too, he's part of it. He did marry me, so he gets to be part of the anniversary. But I will finish the layout. I will post a picture. If you follow me on Instagram or on any of the social medias, I'll be posting lots of pictures of us enjoying the cruise, all the things I'm doing in Texas. If you are in the Houston-ish area, I am, remind me, the store. I forget all the time with the washi wall. Oh my goodness. You guys must worry about me all the time. 
I will be popping into that store at some point. I will let you know at least the day before. So if you want to meet me and we can say hey and chat and buy washi together, um, that will be fun. Vicky, Vicky Von Richter will be on that. Is that how I say that? Richter? Richter? I'm sorry if I massacre, massacre your names. I'm not very good at it, but for sure. Um, little craft place. Thank you. Um, in spring, Texas, right? I will make a plan with uh, my friend and uh, Katrina, and we will uh, be going there one day and I'll let you guys know ahead of time so that if you are in that area or planning or we're planning a little crafting little shopping trip that you can meet us there and i would love to meet some of you guys in person so that's it have a great evening i will see you guys later two weeks see you in two weeks and uh we will kick off the little uh, ranger uh tim holtz simon hurley i have a whole bunch of stuff coming so i'm going to just be playing with a whole bunch of brand new mixed media new to me um, and we're going to be having lots of fun. So we will see you soon, friends. Have a uh, wonderful weekend and see you in two weeks. Bye. Have a good night.